You are listening to the Daily Gold Podcast, covering precious metals, the junior mining sector, and global capital markets for intelligent investors. Now, here is your host, Jordan Roy Byrne. Making money versus being right. In investing in the world of financial media and financial punditry, the desire to be right and predict events can impede making money. The reason is being proven right or predicting an event fuels the ego. It also makes the public and financial media think that you have some special foresight. It gives you extra attention and with that comes some power. What is his next prediction, they wonder. The desire to be proven right allows many to stick with a losing bet and perhaps subconsciously refuse to admit when the evidence turns against them. In the currency market, people have been, people have, first they made a big bet against the yen. And in recent years, there's people who made bets against the Chinese yuan and lost big. And also in recent years, we have folks proclaiming the dollar would go through the roof. Even Jim Rogers was predicting this. It hasn't happened. It's actually gone nowhere for five years. And it could be starting a primary bear market now. The worst of the worst predictors are those that have essentially a religious viewpoint. They spout the same story, the same prediction, and their mind will never change. They can't be moved with facts and evidence. This is a religion. On financial Twitter, we can see it on both sides. There are people calling for a deflationary meltdown, but also people calling for a melt up. They've never changed their tune. They might as well be robots. As humans, we are naturally drawn to confidence. And that is how some of these predictors can quickly build a following. But in the game of investing and trying to make money, this is incredibly dangerous. Confidence, I mean. One has to be flexible and able to change their mind when the facts change. But at the same time, we have to realize that writing trends is the easiest way to make money. In my book and in various reports, I have laid out why I think precious metals are in the early innings of a secular bull market that could last up to 20 years. This particular cycle could last another four years. The easiest way to make money is to buy and hold. Don't overthink it. No one is going to make money trying to trade in and out successfully. Up until a year ago or so, I was too obsessed with being proven right. I wanted to predict every correction and somewhat actively trade the ups and downs in precious metals. Then I wised up. The primary trend is up. Now we have to find the best companies, buy and hold. Listen, the vast majority of predictions are noise. Ignore them. I've answered the subscriber questions about predictions of others in the Q&A section in my premium updates. This guy says gold will go to 800. This guy says gold is topping because of the eight-year cycle. This guy says gold could correct 35%. This guy says the dollar is going through the roof and commodities will crash. This stuff was all at least a few months ago. Some even further back than that. And as a professional accredited technical analyst who understands the macro behind the market, I can easily debunk some of this stuff. Look, as far as predictions, I'll give you mine. I thought gold and silver were going to peak at 1921. Did that prediction help anyone make money? What if I firmly said that and just kept repeating it and told people to take short-term profits? How would that have worked out? There were also a few bulls predicting a correction in early July. Did that, prediction, pr did that prediction help anyone make money? 
That was weeks and weeks before the market started to peak and slow down. In closing, predictions are total noise and should be ignored. They don't help anyone make money, and those making the predictions often are looking for an ego boost or to build a following. Forget about being proven right. Just focus on making money. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Gold Podcast. For more interviews, editorials, and analysis, log on to thedailygold.com. And for premium coverage of precious metals and the best junior mining companies, visit thedailygold.com forward slash premium.